uh, earlier, Letty Lustcraft is a published author and erotic romance writer whose work focuses on kink positivity and healthy D's dynamics. Super excited about this, uh, but let's get into it. So I want to talk about it. So how did you get into writing uh, erotic romance writer and what kind of stuff have you do you have out now? Yeah, so I actually started writing erotica when I was a teenager. Um, I started writing fan fiction and I put it on the back burner when I went to college and um, it found me again during the pandemic when everybody needed something to do. And uh, it was one of the hobbies I picked up. I just decided to start writing again. And I'm really glad I did. Um, but it started off with just short stories during the pandemic, things that inspired me that we, my husband and I would do. We were doing a lot of experimentation during that time Ooh. too. Ooh. Um, <laughs> Must be nice. Yeah. <laughs> so it turned into an erotic diary series and that turned into a published book of all of those diary entries together, um, along with some essays on sex education that we learned along the way and things that I wish I had known when I was younger. Um, things that they don't really teach you in sex ed. So I was actually, I didn't even have a really good sex education. I was abstinence only educated. And so I didn't really get a lot of the things that I know now. So they didn't teach you safe words. They didn't teach you, you know, anything about BDSM or fetishes, um, obviously. So, so the book that I wrote has a first half was just essays on education and things that I wish that I had known when I first got into the scene. Okay. That's kind of one of my, one of my goals as a writer is to try and create realistic erotica so a lot of the erotica that you come across now which i love by the way i love a good vampire story mm. mafia romance secret mm. millionaires you know i love all that but you really isn't a lot of realistic erotica out there so i really wanted to try to put that into the world um, to give people an idea of what a healthy ds dynamic can look like and what healthy bdsm can look like it's not all just 50 shades of gray um it's, there's a lot more to it than that. but so okay so let's back it up a little bit first off there's mafia erotic fantasy oh yeah that's a whole yes there's a lot of mafia News to me romance <laughs> yep <laughs> wow i mean sounds like a blast uh but i want to talk so you started writing in high school. So you said you grew up in like an abstinence based like environment. Did that kind of uh, in a way like you, were you writing in secret almost? And it's like, you know, you weren't allowed to talk about it, but you just had like this burning urge inside of you. And the only way you could get it out is through writing about this thing that was you know, a big no, no, stay away kind of thing. Is that what was going on? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it definitely wasn't secret. I wasn't out there showing other people what I was writing. I didn't even really have friends that I showed it to. It was something that I kept very private, almost like a diary. Um, I was anonymous online, kind of like I am now, um, on different websites that I would publish my stories on. Um, but yeah, I think that my abstinence only sex ed has a big part in like why I write and why I'm so interested in writing erotica um, what, what like, like what hold on so abstinence only sex ed where where was that taught at was that in like because I went to catholic school mm -hmm. and I'll tell you this it's because I'll, I mean at least in the Philadelphia area the catholic school girls have a reputation for being who is if you know what I mean and <laughs> me. well hey whoa whoa 